Hey everybody, Gina DeLuca here. Today, we're gonna to be doing another straight pour. I'm testing out some more colors to see if they sell and how they sell. Sometimes they give nice strong cells, sometimes they make blooms, sometimes they give irregular cell shapes. So we're gonna give these a whirl. This is the Deco Art Americana line. All of these paints are matte, and I have found that the matte colored paints or the matte finish paints have a tendency to sell in a straight pour. So we have Purple Pizzazz, Ultra Blue Deep, and Desert Turquoise. I have mixed up some uh, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. That is my opaque. That should become the background. And uh, and paints react differently. Uh, these paints might react differently with the white um, than they would with a dioxazine purple. It all has to do with the densities. And I do believe there is something about the something with the pigments in the matte finish, or maybe it's the binder. Um, I'm not a fluid dynamics scientist, but I am <laughs> doing my best to figure all of this out. All right, so these paints are mixed. Two parts Floetrol, one part paint, and thinned with my mixture of 90% uh, water and 10% Floetrol. So these are mixed with straight Floetrol and then thinned with the water and Floetrol mixture. I'm going to put a tiny bit of this paint in my cup. This is a 10 by 10 canvas. This will need about three and a half ounces of paint but because I'll be laying down a base coat, I don't need three and a half ounces of paint in this cup. It just needs to be three and a half ounces to cover the whole thing. So we want to lay down a base coat so that the paints have something to slide around upon. It helps you to keep your composition, keep your cells, if you're doing a ring pour, it helps you keep your rings because if a canvas is dry, the paint will adhere to it. So the bottom of the paint that you pour will be sticking to the canvas and the paint on the top of the puddle that you pour will slide over top of the paint that is stuck to the canvas. So what you want to do is make your canvas nice and slick to begin with so that it's not an issue. Okay, let's put some paint in a cup, shall we? I will start with the blue, the dark blue, which didn't really sink very much. turquoise and the purple okay it is starting to sell up I don't know if you can see that so let's hurry up and pour this And I dripped. Doo doo. OK, 
Okay, let's pop some bubbles. Okay, I'm going to come in this direction first, very, very slowly. Today is the first day of school, at least for this household, for the younger one. Hallelujah. <laughs> you know, we love the kids, but it's nice to have quiet during the day. I work at home during the day. And I will be bringing the paint back to center. Before changing directions, let's go this way. Let the weight of paint direct the flow. And the more you move this around, the more cells will pop up. And it's usually where you have your base coat color or your uh, background color, your opaque. They'll start popping up in the opaque area. I'm not really tilting any paint off right now. I am just moving it around. Get the schmutz.
Okay, I'm going to let this sit for a bit. And let gravity do its thing. But I should be getting some more of this blue, hopefully, around here. All right, I'm gonna let this sit. Back in a few. All right, here it is, and I'm digging on this piece. So more cells did pop up, as you can see. That deep blue does sell. The purple pizzazz sells. The turquoise, not so much. That just kind of blends uh, with the other paints. So that is good to know. But I'm, uh, I'm digging this one. I like these colors together. All right. There it is. I hope you learned something. I did. Please like and share and subscribe and all of that good stuff. Do check out the description box underneath this video. You will find the link to my PayPal tip jar if you should so be inclined to want to help me stay stocked up in paint so I can bring you a new video every single day. There's also a link to go make some art on Facebook, share your paintings there, and there's also a great place if you have questions, if you need help immediately with something, there will always be someone there to answer your question right away. And uh, the Amazon link is also in the description box. Anything that you purchase through that link, I will receive a small commission of at no extra cost to you. And uh, my website link is there. I will be posting my paintings for sale on there this week. I am saying farewell, adieu to Spreezy and Etsy. Uh, and I'm gonna just be doing it on my website. All right, y'all, that is it for today. I hope y'all enjoyed. Have a beautiful day. Go make some art.